Hey guys, it is Monday 17th of January and I am an idiot because <laughs> I thought I was supposed to have a seminar today and I was literally waiting like for it to begin and then it turns out I actually don't so that's fun. Um, I'm very tired, I stayed up like until about 3am playing Paradise Killer because I found out that it came out on the Switch which was very fun but I'm now exhausted. Um, so I'm going to try and get some work done and see how that goes. So right now you may be thinking to yourself, hey Amy this doesn't look like work, you're literally playing The Sims. Um, and you'd be right, but you underestimate the power of The Sims as a tool for drawing references. Let me show you. So you see this guy, he's like super cool. Um, he's going to be the protagonist for my illustrations based on Murakami's short story The Second Bakery Attack, which is what we're doing in our current unit on my course. Um, so making them in The Sims allows you to have like a 3D reference for your characters, this is his wife, um, and you can just take screenshots of like The Sims just like in whatever environment you want them to be in and then that gives you like references that you can use for your final illustrations so yeah it's pretty useful and here's an example of how you can do it so in this story these two go and attack a mcdonald's for some reason and so i've loaded in a mcdonald's from the gallery in the sims um you can get basically like any kind of like building or anything you want like other people have made them so you don't need to make them and then you pause the screen when your sims are like in a pose that you want and then you can just screenshot it and then you have a reference obviously like when you actually make the final drawing like you're going to want to change stuff to make it you know look good and stuff <laughs> but um yeah it's a good starting point to have I think this screenshot that I've done here is like a better example of how you can use it to like plan your composition and that kind of thing. So I quite like how I designed their room. This is when they wake up at the start of the story. And I got the idea um, to have a painting in the background that's like symbolic and relevant to the story somehow. I'm not quite sure what's going to be there yet, but the um, three illustrations that we're supposed to make are in a triptych, uh, as is this painting. So I think that would be quite a sort of fun meta way of bringing sort of the themes of the project into the story. Hey guys, so it's now about 3pm. I'm working on thumbnail sketches for the final piece of this design. I don't, it's really hard to like find references of people sitting in cars where the car is also in the, in the frame. Um, and I'm not very good at drawing cars, so it's definitely been a bit of a challenge. Another thing that's difficult about this is that I realised the size that we're supposed to be working in is different from what I thought. Um, it's actually like this uh, long size, so yeah, that's going to be interesting to try and like rework the drawings in, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm now about to go on a walk with my housemate Lizzie, and this is my coat that I'm wearing, I don't know why I'm showing my coat, but yeah, and also I have a berry because apparently I have to make certain that everyone knows I'm an art student. <laughs> making some dinner for tonight. We're having spaghetti bolognese as we very regularly do in this house. 
making a gluten-free spaghetti. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. This is my outfit for today. We're going into class today, so I make more of an effort on class day. And this is my makeup. I don't know if the eyebrows are too much, but I quite like the rest. Apparently my goal is usually to look as much like a clown as possible. Oh my god, I actually really like that. Yeah, I like that. Like the the way it layers with the other ones as well, like it is kind of like holographic almost. Oh my god, this one's really nice as well. But it's $6.99. The thing is, I was looking for like something like this to like keep my masks in. Oh, you must it. And that it's would be really nice. I feel like 6 is a lot for what it is though. Mm. I might see if they have anything similar in Hobbycraft because I might be going on Friday. So. That's cool, yeah. Cute is this? It's a, it's, it's a sheep. I was going to say it's a goat, it's not a goat, it's a sheep. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what is this Santoro gorgeous plagiarism? Well, I would, I would draw something. It's like very, very my kind of drawing. Yeah. Like the arms. <laughs> 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 oh, it's called Ren. That moment when you're looking for inspiration for illustrations in kids books but then it just makes us look childish. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just like, I've accepted my fate as, as uh, like, basically a child. <laughs> I quite like this style. Oh, I like that too. This just, I might buy this. This just has Legoshi <laughs> vibes. Like, I kind of want to buy this because it's kind of amazing. <laughs> Do it. Those are so cute. <laughs> and then they, they had like two on each shelf. And I got John, John to get some, like, what one I would choose. And he got like most of them right. Oh wow. <laughs> These are like super cute. Yeah. <laughs> doing a snuffkin cosplay at some point. Oh, that'd be so cute! <laughs> They've got Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> and Hisoka! I was gonna say, like, <laughs> sus man. <laughs> sus man. I do like the rainbow aesthetic of this. Yeah, if we don't, if we can't get um, the bubble tea, we could always come back here. Oh yeah, that's a good point. What do you think would happen if you, like, mixed all of these together into, like, one forbidden drink? It would, it would not be very pleasant. <laughs> I don't even imagine it would be very pleasant. Cheeky Kool Aid. Huh? Cheeky Kool Aid. If you were indeed wondering whether or not we are weeds. <laughs> Geisha. This just has the ultimate match of blossom vibes, honestly. It's actually like really nice up here. Mm -hmm. How's your bubble tea? It's good. <laughs> Mine is also very delicious. I've got it with oat milk. You know what? I think it wouldn't even be like a stretch to say that like my favorite thing about Norwich is being able to get bubble tea. Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, it's now about 2.30, we just got back from our illustration class and from town. We've only been out for like half the day, but I get very tired very quickly, so I'm probably gonna take a break and then later I'll work on my supporting document. So it's now just gone 11, I'm about to head to bed in a bit, but I've just been working on my supporting document, which is basically like a review of all the work that we've done for each project. And tomorrow I am very excited because we're going to see the owls, which is going to be very fun. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
is Bird and Blend. It's our favourite tea shop in Norwich. Hey guys, it's now coming up to four o'clock. I've just got back and I'm now going to begin working on the final piece of the first panel of our project. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how that goes. I've done the sketches of the characters and then I'm going to be adding the background in like a lineless style. So that's why I haven't done the sketch yet. So it's now just gone seven. I've finished about half of my illustration and I'll finish the rest tomorrow. This is my dinner. I'm having salmon, rice and edamame beans with coconut aminos because I can't have soy sauce. So it's a good substitute. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and finish the illustration tomorrow and then I will show you guys. Good morning guys, it is Thursday the 20th of January. I didn't have any classes this morning so I got to have a lion which was nice. And I've now made spaghetti with edamame beans as like a kind of brunch thing since I didn't really have breakfast so now I've got this which is nice. Later today I do have an individual tutorial which is where I'm going to talk about an essay that I've done with one of the tutors. I'm a little bit nervous for it honestly because I want to change what I'm writing about but I don't know if they'll let me so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, um, for now I'm just going to enjoy my brunch, chill for a bit and then we'll see how the tutorial goes. So I just finished my meeting, these are the notes that Basically my essay is about LGBT representation um, in different media and cultures and I've decided that I'm not actually going to change it to focus on anime but instead um, I've divided it into three kind of types of LGBT character which is um, those that are coded, uh, those that are sort of explicitly LGBT but it's made a big deal of. Um, and then the less common one, which is one that's just kind of allowed to exist without being um, a big deal or without being hidden. So, um, yeah. Hey guys, we're now watching couples come dine with me and doing some work, so that's fun. Crow, the crow is there. I think you said scrote. I'm doing some work anyway. <laughs> So shut your eyes, kiss me goodbye, and sleep. Is like letting go of your dreams. Okay, so it's now 10.30ish. I've sort of finished this design. Um, I don't know if it's my best work, but I think this is sort of about as good as it's going to get. So I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, tomorrow I'm hopefully going to Hobbycraft, so that should be fun. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Friday. I decided to do weird makeup again because apparently if I don't do weird stuff with eyeliner at least once a week I do spontaneously combust so yeah it looks kind of terrible now but like I've done it now so I'm gonna wear it go big or go home and this is my outfit for today I'm wearing my Corella dress from EMP it's got this chain which I really love I might wear a jacket with it though because it's freezing outside today
quite liminal. Like it's one of those liminal space things. The temptation to buy a new sketchbook when I already have like 10 sketchbooks. I really like the, I used to have um, like this one, but I lost it. Search tips. I was using it when we were at um, Suffolk New, and like, I, I feel like I might have left it there. Yeah, I would like really love to get these one day. Maybe if my YouTube channel gets like popular enough, they can like send me yeah. some to like use. That, that's like my ultimate dream is like to become that kind of YouTuber where like people just send you stuff for free. <laughs> We're now watching Escape the Infinity because of course I have to kidnap all my friends to make them watch it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's now just gone five. I've had a really nice day hanging out with Molly. I haven't seen her in ages, so it's really nice to hang out again. Um, I haven't really done any work though today, so I'm gonna maybe work on my supporting document later, but honestly, I might not do much else. Um, I'm gonna make pasta tonight though, so that's fun. And then I think this is gonna be the last bit, um, part of the video actually, because I don't really do anything on Saturday, so. Yeah, I guess it's the end, so thank you guys so much for watching, um, I hope it was enjoyable at all. Um, if you have any questions or anything about uni or about anything in general, um, yeah, comment, whatever, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, yeah, see you in the next video if there is one.